This video will focus on performing an MTM1 time study. First we need to select the task which we want to perform the MTM time study on. So I'm going to select task number 4. MTM1 is widely considered in industry as the original predetermined time standard and it is the oldest time standard still in use. To begin our MTM1 study, we can play the video and watch for elements that may occur. We can then record these elements as they occur in the video, or I'm just going to stop the video here and then go in and record the elements that we observed. If I then save the study, the normal time for those elements will be calculated within the time data window. And performing an MTM1 study can be that easy. But I'm going to go in here and add a few more elements so that we can explore some of the features offered within the MTM1 editor. If we enter a forward slash or a backslash within the special code column, then that element line will be ignored when the total time is calculated. The parser assumes that the objects moved weigh less than 2 pounds. However, if our object weighs more than 2 pounds, we can put a comma and then the weight of the object in pounds, and the increased difficulty of handling this object will be taken into account when the total time is calculated. Within the reach and the move, there are A, B, and C codes. A codes stand for reach or move to an object at a fixed location. A B code is for reach or to move to an object at a variable location. And C code is used for a reach or a move to an object jumbled with others. These different codes can be used to help perform a more accurate MTM1 time study. Within the MTM1 editor, simultaneous elements can also be listed. Perhaps an operator is reaching for objects on a shelf and doing so simultaneously. So here we'll enter in the left code and then we'll click on that element line within the right code column and let's say that the second object the operator is reaching for is a little further back. We can enter those here and then when a save is called, the partial will take into account the greater of these two times. As you can see, the total time correlates to the reach, which took slightly longer. In addition, the total time for element line number 4 has been ignored because it is commented out, and the total time for element line number 5 has been increased due to the increased weight listed within the left code column. Value added percentages can be listed for each of these elements in the same way that they are listed in the editing value added percentages video. Frequencies can be set in the same way that they are set in the specifying frequencies videos and types can be set in the same way that they are set in the specifying process type video. An additional feature to take into account in the MTM1 editor is the is user practiced checkbox. If this checkbox is checked, then the parser assumes that the users perform these elements multiple times on a daily basis. Thus, the operator would have significant skill in performing these tasks. If this checkbox is unchecked, then the total times for simultaneous elements will be calculated differently because the user does not have significant skill performing these elements. When a save is called, the total times are summed and then converted to the units within the time data table. 